What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise News, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where today we have a couple of new things. First starting off with the 2022 Toyota GR86 and it's a more powerful and more sharper driver's car. Now when Subaru unveiled their second gen BRZ last November, Toyota's version, the GR86, would probably be close behind. Now obviously we've had to wait five months, but in the meantime, Toyota has been working hard to make the jointly developed sports car feel more like their own. Now the GR86 makes its world debut as the third vehicle in Toyota's GR lineup, coming after the GR Super Sports Coupe and the GR Yaris Hot Hatch. Now as the first generation of the two sports coupes, Toyota and Subaru work together on the GR86 and BRZ with the two models having a nearly identical appearance with some minor details. Now in Toyota's case, that meant for the first and foremost, outfitting the GR86 with the functional matrix Matrix grille similar to the one found on the GR Yaris. And while the headlight LED signature is also slightly different compared to the BRZ. Now that's not to say it's not a prettier and more muscular design than before with a lowered stance and curvier hips along with some tweaks such as a slightly narrow greenhouse. But the other new exterior features include motorsport derived aerodynamics components such as special air outlets, side sill spoilers, and said to be improved is the car's handling and stability. Now Toyota says that it optimized the GR86's interior to maximize driver focus placing for the infotainment system in such a way that it reduces the need to look away from the road. Now the seven inch display now sports a more modern look and upon startup shows an animation sequence inspired by the piston movements of the car's boxer engine. Now, as for the rest of the interior design, it can be summed up nicely with one word, functional. The updates certainly bring it further into the modern age, but it also benefits from some old school charms. The fact that there are still some physical buttons, dials, and switches providing haptic feedback for the driver is one of those charms. Now, while they were able to keep the car's weight roughly the same, 2,800 pounds or 1,270 kilograms, Toyota claims it put the extra work in to get the new GR86 to handle even better than its predecessor, which was already renowned for its driving dynamics. Those strategic use of light weight materials such as aluminum for the roof panels and fenders they were able to keep the center of gravity low combine that of with a 50 percent increase of torsional rigidity then you have the recipe for a true driver's car now the gr86 will be powered by the same naturally aspirated 2.4 flat engine found in the subaru brz but with a very slight bump in power the unit is good for 232 horsepower 235 ps 173 kilowatts and 184 pound feet 250 newton meters of torque that allows the gr86 to complete the sprint to 62 miles per hour 100 kilometers in 6.3 seconds or 1.1 seconds quicker than the outgoing model now the peak power and torque arrive at 7000 rpm and 3700 rpm respectively before a 7400 rpm redline and according to toyota the engine's overall responsiveness has been enhanced to provide a better transition from low to high rpm now power is still sent to the rear wheels via a six-speed automatic transmission or a six-speed manual now automatic transmission equipped versions of the gr86 will come with subaru's eyesight driver assist technology now that system includes various pre-collision safety features to help avoid accidents secondary collision avoidance measures to mitigate subsequent impacts and emergency rescue support in the unfortunate event that an accident does occur. Now, surprisingly, despite the delay, the GR86 is scheduled to go on sale in Japan this fall alongside the Subaru Twin. Now, there was no word on when the other markets would be receiving the car, but if the Subaru's timeline for the BRZ is any indication, it should be soon after. Therefore, expect to see the North American dealerships by the end of 2021 or early 2022 at the latest, with further details to be released in the coming months as for pricing in the US, and you probably anticipate it to start around $30,000. But Subaru disappointed friends of the series when it recently announced that the second generation BRZ will not be sold in Europe. However, the GR86 will launch in the old continent with Toyota to reveal even more later this year. But with that said, so far, what do you guys think about Toyota's GR86 for 2022? We'll be talking about the next model, the Subaru BRZ in the next video. But for right now, what do you guys think about the updates for the GR86? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. 
Give it a thumbs up. We'll help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we can talk about the debut of the all new 2022 Toyota GR86. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, make sure you check out the links down below. where I have a one time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo, just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel. You can also help support by checking out the Ron's Rise merch. You can get t shirts, stickers, hoodies, everything Ron's Rise there. Now, I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. It's everything I'm posting, car memes, pictures, and videos that doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one news video. With that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we'll talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise News video. Peace.